good afternoon students so in the last class we have seen uh, a 3 is to 8 decoder the second uh, commercially available uh, decoder which is 74138 right and uh, we have also seen how to convert a 2 is to 4 decoder into 3 is to 8 decoder that is by using a 74139 right so in today's class we will discuss uh, how to design a boolean functions using uh, uh, 74138 right so let us see the first uh, example implement the following function using 74138 the function is f of a b c summation of 267 right so here uh, this question may be asked in uh, two different ways one is uh, using 74139 in that case you have to use two decoders or uh, 74139 uh, itself has a dual 2 is to 4 decoder right so and you have to use the follow uh, yesterday's procedure to design the function right but now it is asked uh, you have to design a, a boolean function using 74138 right so this question may be asked either uh, uh, using 74139 or 74138 so let us discuss how to design this function using 74138 right so in the last class we have seen uh, we have already discussed the basic uh, symbolic form of uh, 74138 74138 we have discussed and which has uh, three inputs hmm? actually it has uh, total six inputs uh, three are the main inputs and uh, three are the enable inputs the enable inputs are uh, uh, denoted as g1 g2a and g2b g to b right so and the actual inputs are a b c where a is lsb and c is msp right and uh, how many outputs it has it has total eight outputs right so start designing start designing because i have already discussed uh, uh, what how to uh, how to connect the inputs and how to enable the decoder by using a g1 g2a and g2b right so actually here i, I should write a g2a bar because of this bubble outside it has g2a and here it has g2b and here actually i, I need to write g2a bar and g2b bar right now y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 these are the eight inputs right uh, sorry eight outputs right now uh, in the given function the first variable is msb until and unless it is said until and unless it is said the first variable is always treated as msb then uh, the third variable is treated as lsb right now uh, which is lsb here a is lsb again you don't try to remember a is connected to capital a or c is connected to capital c uh, it is not like that right so you have to identify the particular uh, uh, msb in the given function as well as in the uh, 74138 decoder right so you connect lsb to lsb and msb to msb so here capital a is lsb and in the given function small c is lsb so i'll connect c to i'll connect c to a right so next small b is connected to capital b and msb here is uh, capital c this is capital c and in the given function the msb is small a so a is connected to capital c now how to enable this particular decoder first uh, you worry about uh, the inputs right because i need to connect the proper inputs so as per the given function as well as i need to connect these uh, three enable pins to enable that particular decoder since uh, g1 is active high so g1 has to be connected to vcc right or uh, it is connected to 5 volt uh, in digital it is represented as 1 right and g2a g2b both are active low so i need to short them and connect them to ground correct so by by making by uh, by connecting these enable pins like g1 to vcc and g2a g2b uh, g2a and g2b to ground so i am actually enabling this 74138 uh, little big diagram you draw right so i have already drawn so i am not changing it hmm? now uh, so all uh, here all inputs are connected the actual inputs as well as the enable inputs are connected properly uh, to select that particular decoder now i need to worry about the output right so again i have eight outputs here but in the given function i have only one output 
right so i need to convert these eight inputs eight outputs into one output for that i need to use one external nand gate right so in the last class we have discussed when the outputs are active high uh, i need to go for a nand gate right so you you pick those particular outputs you pick those particular outputs y2 uh, then 6c in the given function what are the main terms 2 6 and 7 you 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 pick those uh, corresponding outputs 2 means y2 6 means y6 and 7 means y7 right so you connect these uh, three inputs to three input nand gate right so output is f of a b c so let us verify this uh, circuit whether it uh, gives the proper result or no let us verify that hmm? uh, i'll take input as c a is msb i'll take it as 101 so what is the decimal equivalent of 101 it is equal to 5 right so now uh, is 5 is connected to what nand gate no right so when input is when input is 101 and uh, these are the enable pins which are connected like this right the particular decoder will be selected and when input is 101 what what happens y5 will become 0 and rest all outputs will become high because of the active high uh, sorry active low outputs right since y5 is not connected to nand gate right and uh, y2 y6 and y7 are connected to nand gate and all out all inputs are high here so what is the property of uh, nand gate if uh, all inputs of nand gate uh, suppose all inputs of uh, nand gates are uh, high then output is equal to zero right so do we have that term do we have this phi in the given expression no right so i need to get the output one for two six and seven right only for these three uh, combinations i should get output as one right for rest of the combinations the output should be zero that is correct next i'll take uh, six okay what is the uh, binary equivalent of six msb is a so one one zero one one zero if this is c a is msb here c is lsb right so if i write one one zero then it is binary equivalent of what six right so one one zero what happens uh, y six will become zero and the rest of the outputs will become one right since one of the input of uh, this nand gate is zero right output will become one right so do we have six in the given expression yes that means i got the correct answer for six let me check the last combination that is seven right so seven what is binary equivalent of seven it is one 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 right so one 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 y seven will become zero and rest of the outputs will become high right this, this zero is connected to right this this output this input will become one and this zero this input will become zero since again one of the input of nand gate is zero so output is equal to one do we have seven in the given expression yes that means the function or the circuit is working fine okay so i'll solve one more example uh, based on the uh, 74138 itself right so let us take the next example so let us take the next example implement the following function using uh, 74138 f of x y z is equal to summation of 0 1 4 6 right there are four min terms 0 1 4 6 what we will do uh, we will uh, take uh, 74138 right so connect this is very easy when uh, when it is asked when 74138 is asked using 74138 uh, designing of a boolean function is very easy right so let us take all the three inputs where a is uh, ms sorry lsb c is capital c is msb right so which is msb in the given function x the first input variable is msb and the last input variable is lsb so z is lsb so lsb is connected to lsb and uh, msb is connected to msb which is equal to x so x y z is connected in this manner right next g1 g2a then g2b i should write g2a bar and g2b bar because of those bubbles right so g1 these are the input uh, uh, enable pins g1 has to be connected to vcc and g2a g2b both are active low inputs so they are shorted and connected to ground 
right so you take all the uh, outputs name them y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 right so there are four uh, outputs you pick those outputs y0 then y1 y4 y4 and y6 so connect all four outputs to one NAND gate and you take the one output of NAND gate which is equal to f of x y z so this is the design of a given boolean function using 74138 so analyzing part of the circuit i'll leave it to you okay so you can analyze for these four min terms and uh, whichever min terms are not available in the given function for that also you verify okay uh, so this uh, completes the design of uh, boolean functions using the 74138 so similarly uh, what we discussed in the last class that is how to convert um, 2 is to 4 decoder that is 74139 into 3 is to 8 decoder in the similar fashion we can also convert uh, 3 is to 4 uh, sorry 3 is to 8 decoder into 4 is to 16 decoder right so let me let us see let us see how to convert that uh, 3 is to 8 decoder into 4 is to 8 uh, 4 is to 16 decoder okay so as we discussed in the last class how we converted 2 is to 4 decoder into 3 is to 8 decoder in the similar fashion we are going to convert 3 is to 8 decoder into 4 is to 16 decoder so how we used to convert there i wrote directly i didn't convert first i wrote the truth table then i took one of the lsb and that lsb sorry msb msb is connected to enable pins there right uh, to enable the particular decoder and the other rest of the inputs are connected to the inputs of 2 is to 4 decoder in the similar fashion now we are converting it into 4 is to 16 decoder that means the final uh, design will be having total four inputs right so i need to write a truth table for what four is uh, for four input variables that means we need to write all 16 combinations right so in the similar fashion what we discussed in the last class uh, uh, the final uh, decoder was 3 is to 8 decoder which was having uh, three inputs right so for that i wrote a truth table for uh, uh, truth table using uh, uh, using three input variables that means eight combinations i wrote right so now on the similar basis we will discuss how to convert this 3 is to 8 into deco uh, decoder into 4 is to 16 decoder okay so this is uh, the four input variable to table hmm? where uh, w x y z w x y z are the input variables right where w is msb and uh, small z is lsp right so i wrote eight combinations above this uh, horizontal line these are the eight combinations and the rest of the uh, remaining eight combinations i wrote here so two combinations i wrote here because of uh, uh, not having space here okay now we will uh, discuss how to convert this uh, 3 is to 8 decoder into 4 is to 16 decoder right so since the final design has 4 is to 16 that means four inputs and total it has 16 outputs that means but we are using 3 is to 8 decoder right so such how many decoders i require right so uh, one decoder has eight outputs second decoder has eight outputs so eight plus eight uh, will be having total 16 outputs right so we need two 3 is to 8 decoders to convert uh, to convert them into uh, 4 is to 16 decoder so let me uh, draw the symbolic form of uh, 3 is to 8 2 3 is to 8 decoders so let us see now right so i have one uh, 74138 decoder here right this is first uh, 74138 decoder and this is second 74138 decoder right so first decoder has eight outputs second decoder has eight outputs so eight plus eight will give you what total 16 outputs right so now i need to connect i need to connect these inputs right so this is very simple as we discussed in the last class as we discussed in the last class uh, how to convert 2 is to 4 into 3 is to 8 right so lsb is connected to lsb just remember lsb has to be connected to lsb right next msb has to be connected to msb short them hmm? next uh, b the remaining input is connected to the remaining input of second decoder 
so now to these msbs and lsb which inputs needs to be connected right so in the last class if you remember uh, when we are converting 2 is to 4 decoder into 3 is to 8 decoder we took msb we took msb just go through my uh, the last video right so we took msb to enable the particular decoder uh, in the on the similar fashion we are going to take uh, msb here to select a particular decoder right so you can observe here in the truth table you can observe first for first four combinations sorry eight combinations w is equal to zero right and w is equal to one for next eight combinations right so this w can be used to select a particular decoder right so if i select the first decoder when w is equal to zero we will get the first eight combinations that is y0 to y7 and when w becomes high then we will uh, we will be dis disabling the first decoder and we are enabling the we are enabling the second decoder and we are going to get the next eight combinations that is from y8 to y15 right so let us see how to use this w to select a particular uh, decoder right so since d1 g1 has to be made high uh, if i want to select first you worry about only uh, the first decoder right for which w is equal to zero right so g1 has to be made high right so now since w is 0 and i have two enable pins here so i cannot short them if i short it what happens uh, so now uh, what i'll do first i'll choose the first decoder by making a g1 is equal to vcc now i have to uh, make g2a and g2b bar right so g2a i'll write one and the same it's left to you right so what i'll do so I'll short it and I'll connect it to ground, right? So instead of connecting it to ground, what I'll do, I'll connect it to W because W itself is zero here for first eight combinations. So when W is equal to zero and W is equal to zero, what happens? Uh, these two are active low. So I need to connect them to ground. So since W is equal to zero, th that means these two pins are connected to ground itself. Then G1 is VCC, that means I am enabling the first decoder, right? So I am enabling the first decoder. Now, when the first decoder is enabled, the second decoder has to be disabled because I need to get only the first eight combinations for uh, when the first decoder is enabled, right? Now, how to disable the second decoder? I need to make this G2A and G2B is equal to 1. Then only automatically the second decoder will become disabled right so how can i make this is equal to one same same as we discussed in the last class same technique you use right so one inverter you use output of inverter is connected to this pin right so what happens here w is equal to zero output of uh, inverter is, becomes one right output of inverter becomes one right then uh, these are connected to active low inputs here g2a and g2b so and second decoder will be disabled right so when w becomes one when w becomes one the first decoder disables and the second decoder the output of inverter will be equal to zero so second decoder will be enabled provided g1 has to be connected to g1 has to be connected to vcc right so you just go through the truth table of 74138 decoder you will come to uh, no right next W is over. W is used to select a particular decoder. Next, LSB is connected to LSB. That is Z, which is LSB here. A is LSB, which is LSB here. A, right? So this LSB is need to uh, is connected to Z, right? So among these three, among these three, which is MSB? Among these three, which is MSB? X is MSB. X is MSB. So I'll connect MSB to X. So this C is connected to c and this is connected to x and the remaining input is connected to y right so what happens here uh, in this um, design i converted 3 is to 8 decoder into 4 is to 16 so these are the four inputs 1 2 3 and w 4 right and these are the four outputs right so i can number them continuously now y7 i'll number it as y8 y9 y10 y11 12 13 14 and 15 right so in today's class uh, only this much in next class we will see uh, how to design the 